It's one of sport's oldest and fiercest rivalries. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about the Ashes. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're exploring the ins and outs of cricket's most prestigious matchup, England v Australia. Number 5 The Ashes Origins We open the batting in 1892, as Australia defeats England for the first time on English soil. The countries had met previously, with the visitors famously fielding an Aboriginal team in 1868, but always as a standalone event. Following this inaugural loss at the Oval, however, the press lambasted the home side, with the Sporting Times penning an obituary for English cricket and suggesting that its ashes had been taken to Australia. When team captain Honourable Ivo Bly led an English tour down under three months later, the goal was to regain them. Eventual victory on their rivals Patch saw Bly and company presented with a little urn, and the rest is history. Number 4. A Matter of Diplomacy Cricket's a gentleman's game, right? Not during the 1932-33 series in Australia, when aggressive English tactics threatened international relation. In a bid to stop the legendary Aussie Don Bradman, England deployed their bodyline bowling tactics, controversially forcing defensive batsmen to edge into the slips. Under Douglas Jardin's captaincy, and with Harold Larwood leading the attack, the tourists cruised to a 4-1 win. But not before causing some serious injuries and being branded unsportsmanlike. That term sparked public uproar at home, and England-Australia trade agreements were stretched to breaking point before it was rescinded. Number 3. The Billy Midwinter Story The Ashes anecdotes are ample. There's Fred Truman sleeping in his car before dismantling Australia in 1961, David Gower's heroics with a borrowed bat in 85, David Boone sinking 52 beers on his flight to the 89 series, but our middle order is Billy Midwinter, the only man to play for both sides. With four England outings and eight appearances for Australia, Midwinter's career stretched across the pre- and post-Ashes era. A standout moment came in 1878. He was preparing to bat for Australia, but was kidnapped by W.G. Grace. The iconic Englishman and Gloucestershire captain was incensed when Midwinter dropped county duties for his adopted country, so he bundled him into a cab and forced him to the crease. Number 2. The Stats to Beat Records are meant to be broken, but some will stand for a long, long time. Don Bradman isn't likely to be topped on the run scoring charts with 5,028. His closest rival, Jack Hobbs, notched 3,636. An Englishman takes the highest single score, however, Len Hutton with 364 in 1938. But it's Bradman who boasts the most centuries with 19. Shane Warne tops the table for wickets taken with 195, but England's Jim Laker landed the most in a single match, taking 19 for just 90 runs in 1956. Most catches, that's Ian Botham with 54. Most appearances, Australia's Sid Gregory. But Gregory also holds an unwanted record. With 11 ducks, he scored zero more than any other Ashes player. Number 1. The Little Urn is a Love Story Despite all the animosity and the endless sledging, the Ashes is really just a long-running romance. Florence Morphy helped present the urn, which may have been Morphy's perfume bottle, to Ivo Bly in 1882. The occasion was one of the first times the pair had met, but they'd eventually marry and become Earl and Countess of Darnley. And they kept the urn until Bly's death, when his wife donated it to Marlborough Cricket Club, where it has stayed ever since, besides two ceremonial tours of Australia. Believed to contain the ashes of a burnt bale, and featuring a verse from Melbourne Punch magazine, the urn is just 11 centimetres high. It's one of sport's smallest, but most historic prizes.